Okay, so here I will do a quick QR factorization. With the house of the transformations, uh, and I will have a simple 2x2 two two matrix to keep it simple. So here, if I want to eliminate this element here using the house of the transformation, uh, I would find the vector u, which would be the first column vector of a, so let's call, let's call the column vectors a1 and a2, to be a1 minus the length of a1 times e1. Okay? So this would be 1, 2, minus square root of 5, 0. Okay? e1 is the unit vector uh, of the first dimension. Okay? And so this would be 1 minus square root of 5 and true. Okay, and so the length of u would be uh, 1 plus 5 minus 2 times square root of 5. Uh, it would be the square root of that plus 4 also. Okay, I hope did nothing wrong. Okay, so this would be the square root of 10 minus 2 square root of 5. Okay, and so our unit vector v would be u divided by its length. So this would be 1 over square root of 10 minus 2 square root of 5 draw uh, times this vector, okay? Um, um, okay, because remember our goal is to find the, our first and only household transformation which will be of the form identity matrix minus 2 times v v transpose, where v is a unit vector, okay? If it wasn't a unit vector, you would divide by v transpose v, okay? But here we uh, already find the unit vector, okay? So v v transpose would be 1 over 10 minus 2 square root of 5 times um, 6 minus 2 square root of 5 okay 2 minus 2 square root of 5 uh, 2 minus 2 square root of 5 and 4 okay and so h1 would be 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 2 times that thing. So um, here we can factor out 2, okay, we can write that as 2 times parenthesis 5 minus square root of 5. And so the 2 will cancel out, okay, this 2 and this 2 here would cancel out. And so we would have minus 1 over 5 minus square root of 5 times uh, 6 minus 2 square root of 5 Okay Uh, and so, if we apply that to, uh, so if we add that together, we would get, we would have, you would have the following, okay? So if you apply that to A, uh, you would have...
this here I hope you can still see it times our matrix A so one, two, four. Okay, and so we would get uh, uh, so I think you should get that if I did no mistake okay but the important important is is that you get zero here okay and so you get your upper triangle matrix okay and so your Q would be equal to H1 transpose or uh, uh, this here uh, if you transpose it it doesn't change anything okay these two elements would swap but they are the same and so yeah yeah, so that is your Q, and so you can rewrite your A as QR, so you know your R and your Q. And again, if you were in higher dimensions, if you had an N by N matrix, okay, uh, you would, once you are finished with the first column vector, uh, you would uh, you would find the submatrix, you would only consider this submatrix and then once you're finished with the second column vector you would consider the sub submatrix then the sub sub submatrix and so on okay and uh, every time you you how also the transformation, so let's call that HK prime, okay? Uh, it would be in the dim would have the same number of rows as the submatrix, okay? So the how how the transformation of the second column vector would be would have n minus one uh it would have n minus one rows, okay? Um, or and it would also have n minus one columns, and to be able to multiply it with the uh, a, um, you you would add uh, you would add a one in the diagonal and zero in the same row and column as this one and then here you would put your household transformation of the submatrix so you will have again the same number of columns as A has rows okay uh, okay so for the first submatrix you would add one one in the diagonal for the second submatrix you would add um, Two ones and zero, of course. And here you would put your household transformation of the submatrix, and you would continue that way, okay? Uh, until you finish and you get your upper triangle matrix, okay? And then uh, your Q would be equal to the transpose of all your householder transformations okay so it would be h1 transpose h2 transpose all the way to hn transpose okay and so that's how you would do it in higher dimensions okay so put once you you only consider the submatrix and then you add once in the diagonal and zero in the same rows and columns as these ones to be able to multiply with A again okay and uh, you would input your 
Hauptsache Transformation of the Zip Matrix. Uh, okay. To get the matrix that you would multiply with A. Okay, I hope this is clear. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.